Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to World's Best Goal of the Week. I'm your host, Stone Mountain, with a new Overwatch Top 5 Plays, plus a bonus clip. But first, last week's winner was the Bravo clip from the Star Wars Battlefront episode, Kloss, running with the Disruptor combo, coming on a beautiful flank route, disrupting all of those enemy weapons, charging up, and as soon as both of them are ready, his blast was a little bigger. Congrats on the win this week. As mentioned, a new Top 5 Overwatch watched the first time I've made it to my primary clip show series and in honor of it this week's weekly giveaway is going to be for a copy of Overwatch and if you already have it it'll be $40 worth of loot boxes to open in the game so keep in mind which clip is your favorite and vote using the top link down below which will also enter you into the giveaway if you want to submit clips I also have that link down below without further ado let's jump into it starting with the echo clip now most of these clips might be a little short because a lot of time the play of the game is something quick. In this case though, Burmis with Junkrat is dropping absolute bombs and goes on an insane kill streak. Launching himself up to the top, he comes around on an excellent flank route, getting a nice five man feed to start it out. With the end of that, him just going straight to the face up the middle. That gives him the ultimate though, giving him a nice one piece. It didn't do too much damage, but that's okay, he's got some beast skills of his own, dropping a nice three-piece at the end, just taking down Reaper when he gets him in the trap, but keeps on pushing in Lucio, trying to run away, dropping bombs on him though, and if you're accurate, with this grenade launcher, it is extremely high damage if it's direct impact. And here we go, May dropping a wall. He just goes right over it. It's a friendly wall. Nonetheless, jumps over, doing some damage to Soldier as backup starts coming in. And if you haven't been paying attention to the score right here, they had just captured this objective back from the enemies, taking out Tracer with a close range bomb. Close range Bastion trying to post up, giving him another ultimate. Nice triple kill, 15 kill streak. It was in overtime as well, but gets the final kill and ends the game win. But I was saying, at the beginning of this clip, they didn't have the objective. They were about to lose. Pulling back for the win. Coming in for the Delta clip. Paper Mario running with Lucio. Got speed boost on. They were spawn trapped way back after just capturing this first objective. Lucio uses that speed though and his teammates' inability to kill the enemies and let them spawn back at their base, which is right next to where this objective is, and makes them run all the way back. At which point, he fully captures the objective on his own before they can get back to him in time. Gravity shot, knocks three of them off. Gabard playing the objective as if we haven't seen enough of this yet. Dropping a four, five, uses the ultimate on the last guy to make it a six. Here's only one guy, but gets a full team kill. Securing the objective for the win. One more in slow-mo replay. All three of these guys right next to the wall. And they perfectly go over, giving the triple kill, loved it. Coming in for the Bravo clip. Agent running with some Hanzo. It's a hit mark on one. Goes behind the wall. Collats? He used the scatter shot right at the feet. But 360 kills him! This is for the play of the game. Off the edge. Target running full speed, completely perpendicular, but we're still not done. Coming in for the Alpha it's clip. Done. QRT with the McCree ultimate five piece. Oh, Bastion. <laughs> I don't think so, gets a full team kill. Kills all six enemies and he's completely alone. Now, just now getting some backup as they win the game because of his play. And I actually have one more bonus clip for you guys this week. But first, give it a thumbs up. Vote on which of those five clips was the best using the top link in the description down below. And then, have you guys seen this before? Solo Re has got a trick with Junkrat putting a trap on top of the basketball that's back in spawn. He then punches it all the way across the map on the objective and gives him a kill! Are you kidding me? Links to all these guys in the description down below, as well as the recommended video with another top 10 Overwatch. Check it out, and I'll see you guys soon. This is Stomout64, over and out.